Cyber Sleuths revealed that Jay Slater's dad, Warren, might have just uncovered a secret network in Tenerife that took his son. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss a video so you can hang out with me and Miss Gabby in the live chat right here. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, Jay's dad Warren dropped this TikTok revealing what he thought really happened to his son. And it's quite horrific, almost straight out of a horror film. Warren took footage of the caves in the Masca Mountains where Jay disappeared, and there appears to be people living in them. I mean, this sounds outrageous, but just watch the video. Isn't that somebody watching us? Because there's definitely dogs barking. Yeah! It's funny how the dogs have start, stopped barking. I don't know about you, but that honestly gave me chills. And he starts the video off with opening where Jay allegedly went down a ravine to take a shortcut to a beach. But I'm not really buying that narrative i don't know about you guys this video was also quite heartbreaking i mean just warren calling for jay was absolutely devastating and many users want warren to know including myself that they stand with him in the quest to get justice for jay but what i found most interesting was how this video was titled quote do the hills have eyes end quote and that seems to line up perfectly with what ayub kasim a convicted substance dealer and one of the last people to ever see Jay alive said about the BNB in a slip up in a live stream. Let's watch this. A and B B Airbnb. I don't know. They were like the hills have eyes. That's what I'm saying. The Hills Have Eyes is a horror movie franchise based on the Scottish legend of Sonny Bean from the 1600s. Him and his family would take people off the street beside his house and eat them, which some sleuths have thought was a chilling similarity to what happened to Jay. Jay allegedly disappeared from the road beside the B&B, but many sleuths say that Jay never made it to this B&B to begin with. Yeah, and just taking a closer look at this video that Warren posted, cyber sleuths, including this one called Scoobs think they can clearly see two individuals in the caves on the mountainside. And it's very scary to look at. They also see flashing lights as well. So when Warren pointed towards these caves after he got a gut feeling that someone or something was watching him, I took a still of the video and put it into Photoshop and I was actually able to identify two individuals standing at the edge of the caves staring at Warren. I don't know if it's just my eyes seeing things, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's possible that there is a person or multiple people watching Warren as he's searching for his son? Yeah, so this is the best I can get it, but in these situations, I like to honestly trust the parents because I think the parents' senses and intuition is what we should go by. And I can potentially see that there's someone in white up at the top of this cave staring at Warren. And then someone down here, I can see legs and almost wearing a jumper as well as a head. It almost looks like his hands are in his pockets, but I potentially see someone here as well. Yeah, and TikToker Pumpkin Spice, AKA Lola, says that she believes, and multiple people actually see this, that when you slow down the video, you can see flashes as Warren pans over the mountainside. So let's just watch this video. Hey. There it is. So I was able to slow this video down and confirm that there does appear to be flashes in the video. Some people see as many as four flashes. So there it is, but let me know what you guys think. Sleuths are doubling down saying that this could be how people in the mountains communicate with one another because these flashes happened after Warren started calling for Jay and then all of a sudden all the dogs stopped barking. Yeah, so Scoob on TikTok believes that they can actually identify four 
flashes. And Scoobs writes, I think it's a signaling system. And I think they are using flashes to communicate. I wonder if they are signaling for everybody to be still and possibly to stop making noise to prevent the dogs from getting set off. These people in the caves in the mountain could very well be using like mirrors to send signals to each other. And some sleuths actually suggest it could actually be electronic devices and it's all rigged up in the mountains as sort of like a security system. In some of the frames of the video, sleuths also suggest that they see something that looks mechanical looking, or I don't know, it could be a duffel bag. And some actually think that they see a camera there as well. So some sleuths have suggested that they think this is where they could be carrying substances and even transporting people with which people from the get-go have suggested is what happened to Jay. Because it's been revealed by sleuths that there are a series of caves on the Maskin Mountain that are potentially used for transportation. And there's one cave in particular that takes you right down to the Maska Beach. Sleuths from the start of this case believe that this is what happened to Jay and the reason why his scent wasn't picked up at the BNB by the world-class sniffer dogs. They say that Jay would somehow have been transported using these caves to the beach and possibly taken away by boat because there was that Maruba boat that disappeared from the same time and location that Jay was last seen at. And interestingly, one of the searchers who found Jay a week after the official search was called off, Luggy, posted a TikTok of their boat. And the song is, I'm not going to play it, Way Down We Go which ultimately sounds like what happened to Jay because Jay allegedly fell down a cliff. So it is sort of weird to be posting footage of your boat. This searcher, according to Bobs and Bits, allegedly worked for the mafia and is rumored to have been dating Brad's mom, Rach, at one point. And coincidentally, after Warren made this bombshell video of the caves and what looked like people in the caves communicating with each other through flashes, the last person, one of the last people to ever see Jay alive, Ayub, posted a very cryptic video that has been now deleted. It looks like he is selling merch, but what I found really interesting is these emoticons that appears to show what happened to Jay. So Jay had no water, had no phone, no signal, ended up in the back of a truck or a vehicle in a box, now meaning that Jay has been put to rest. So the night Jay disappeared, a sleuth revealed CCTV footage that was scrubbed from Rachel and Lucy's Facebook group. There appeared to be a white van parked outside the BNB with another white car coming in, staying for a while, then leaving. So you can see a white van there, and there's actually a white car. You can barely make it out right beside it. And then afterwards, that white car appears to just vanish. So I actually heard a sleuth say that this white car picked up Jay. Mysteriously, this b, &B was booked only hours before Ayub and Rocky arrived. And many think one of these cars might have taken Jay. And chillingly, someone posted this on Tom Hilton's Facebook just this past weekend, writing, quote, your specky mate, which I think means someone wearing glasses or, you know, Brad with those sunglasses, has been seen dragging Jay's body through the tall grass to bury him and is seen coming back to the car in the tall grass on Google Maps. If you have any remorse, you'll tell them that he's buried just off from where the white car is, as you know, the whole plan is disgusting, end quote. Now, I'm not too sure which video this user is referring to, but this video comes to mind. And again, it was early CCTV footage captured by a sleuth of somebody coming out of the bushes after being in that area and going into a car, a white car, and being taken away. Guys, there is something definitely really strange happening in Tenerife with all of these missing person cases. It says here, 82 missing persons in the Canary Island, which seems like a really high number for that small of an island. So could these tunnels be used to transport substances and even people? Because it looks like Rocky, AKA Johnny Vegas, who I really think is a cover up for 
Jay's friend Brandon because Brandon really looks like the comedian Johnny Vegas. Anyway, Rocky blew his cover in his most recent live stream hanging out with youngins. And then this weekend, there was a huge bus for transporting people like this in the area. 14 people have been arrested in Tenerife for being part of a ring in uh, on the island. Um, also, over 200 people have been identified who bought from the uh, content created by these people. There's something definitely really weird going on on Terra Reef. And I really do feel like Warren could have just exposed this criminal underworld that the private investigator, Mark Williams Thomas, discussed was a part of Jay Slater's disappearance. Do you guys think Warren just revealed the network that took his son? Did you guys see the flashes of light? And Miss Gabby deserves a treat. She's the best private investigator on all of YouTube. No clue is too small and she works for treats. All right, guys, love you. Let's roll the outro. Bye.